In this devotional, I'm going to share with you three thoughts from Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verses 12 through 18, where I'll ask the question, what is Solomon trying to learn? Ecclesiastes 1, verses 12 through 18 says, I, the preacher, have been king over Israel and Jerusalem, and I applied my heart to seek and to search out by wisdom all that is done under heaven. It is an unhappy business that God has given to the children of man to be busy with. I have seen everything that is done under the sun, and behold, all is vanity and a striving after wind. What is crooked cannot be made straight, and what is lacking cannot be counted. I said in my heart, I have acquired great wisdom, surpassing all who are in Jerusalem before me. And my heart has had great experience of wisdom and knowledge. And I applied my heart to know wisdom and to know madness and folly. I perceived that this also is but a striving after wind. For in much wisdom is much vexation. And he who increases knowledge increases sorrow. As you first crack open the book of Ecclesiastes, it seems very bleak. It is not optimistic at all. Here you have Solomon, the king of Israel, the one that was miraculously gifted divine wisdom. Wisdom greater than any king that would come before or after. And he essentially says that everything that man has to do in this life is vanity. You see, Solomon is trying to figure something out. He's trying to learn something. He's trying to use this great gift of wisdom that the Lord has given to him to better everyone's condition by figuring out what it is that man ought to do with his time. But in so doing, he has to travel through some particularly dark paths and really question what it is that he's even trying to learn in the first place. With that in mind, here are three thoughts from Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verses 12 through 18 answering the question, what is Solomon trying to learn? Thought number one, everything. Solomon is trying to learn everything. In fact, he goes out and he observes the world. And as he does, he finds out that there isn't a whole lot of variety in experiences that people have. As he observes the world around him, as he tries to learn everything that there is for him to learn, everything that he can know about, he's trying to dip his toe into, what he discovers is that there's nothing new under the sun. What he discovers is that the experiences that we have in this life, they are the experiences that people have had before. They are the same experiences that people are going to have in the future. That there's nothing new going on, but that it's a endless repetition of the same sorts of behaviors, the same kinds of things over and over and over again. So while Solomon is trying to learn everything that there is to know, what he discovers pretty quickly is that it seems like there's sort of a repeat cycle going on where the same events get repeated again and again throughout all of history. Thought number two, meaning. Solomon is trying to learn the meaning of life. He's trying to figure out what it is that gives people a sense of purpose and direction. And what he finds after trying out just about everything that he can try is this, that all things are vanity. Pretty bleak. Not necessarily the lighthearted kind of thing that you would hope to hear from him. He even says that with great wisdom, that with great knowledge, with great increases in all of these sorts of things, what happens? What is the result? It's sorrow. So as Solomon is doing this deep dive into this quest for meaning in order to learn all that he can about the world, what does he say? He says that it's meaningless. He says that it's all vanity, that it's a chasing after the wind, that it doesn't ultimately matter if you attain these particular goals that you are ascribing to or not. Because ultimately, the place where you end is where? It's the grave. And when Solomon comes to this conclusion, you might think that he's a nihilist. But don't forget to read the entire book before diving down that particular road. Thought number three, value. Solomon is trying to figure out what it is in this world that is of ultimate value. And that, I think, is something that we should all try and figure out. We should all try and discover what it is that is of ultimate value here in the world. 
Because if you can figure out what has ultimate value, then you know where to spend your time. You know where to spend your energy. You know where to spend your intellect. You figure all of that out when you know what has ultimate value. All of a sudden, you have this meaning to life when you can discover what has ultimate value in the world. So Solomon is trying to figure out what has ultimate value. So that way he can best utilize his time, which he recognizes is pretty minimal in the grand scope of things. So Solomon is trying to learn what has ultimate value and his answer, meaningless, meaningless, everything is meaningless, vanity, vanity, everything is vanity, at least in these first sections to sort of establish that once you do realize that the whole purpose of man is to give glory to God and to enjoy him forever, once you realize that fact, then you know what has meaning, you know what has value, and you can devote yourself to learning all sorts of different wondrous things and that time spent not be wasted because you realize that your ultimate purpose as a creature in this created world is to give glory to your creator. These three thoughts come from the assigned reading Ecclesiastes chapters 1 and 2. If you'd like to read through the Bible with me, you can do so by subscribing to this channel, by clicking on the link in the description, or by joining the Facebook group Through the Bible, where we are reading the text of Scripture together.